guys, I'm Jodie. I'm a new member of the Stride Free Squad. So what I do is a little bit different to what you might be used to with Peter Horovan saddles. So rather than dressage and show jumping, my gig is actually long distance trail rides. I've done a couple of trail rides. One was from Melbourne to Canberra. It was about a thousand kilometers. And I've also been riding along the Continental Divide in the United States, which was another 1200 or so kilometers. There are a couple of things that I've learned out on trail, a couple of key factors that are really important that you might not think about when you start. So first things first is that this is the new half-breed saddle that Peter Horobin have recently released and it is making my life so much easier. For one, it is so much lighter than my last trail saddle. It's 11 kilos, which is bumping a huge amount of weight off my other Western saddle that I used previously. The fact that I don't need to hook it up to go to and feel like I'm going to the gym to start with is a huge thing. Another thing that is a really big factor for long days in the saddle is a padded seat. So my days were anywhere from 10 to 14 hours in the saddle and number one thing that is really important for both your horse and yourself when you are doing really big days is comfort. Not only is this saddle designed for the rider, but it's also designed for the horse. There's something new that I learned recently, it's called the Stride Free Tree, and it just is a whole new world in the saddle tree industry, I guess you can say. So something really great about this saddle is that it does have a semi-flexible tree. It is reinforced with spring steel, so it is gonna be there supporting your horse, but it does give just a little bit of movement in there because we all know that when your horse moves, then their back moves and this will move with them, which at the end of the day, when you're doing such big hours in the saddle, it's gonna make a huge difference for not only yourself and your horse, and you both wanna be comfortable at the end of the day. Now, something that's really cool about this is that it's completely customizable. So I've chosen in my saddle to have sheepskin lining on the inside here. There is also wool and felt available. You can choose the color of your leather. We do have the Merry Jig and the Pilbara. So I here have chosen the Pilbara because it does have a little bit of a tougher leather because I am going to be doing some really big miles in this thing. But there is also the Merry Jig, which does have the really beautiful soft European leather that you do see on the dressage saddles. After a couple of thousand kilometers of riding in the bush in the back country, there are a couple of things that I really appreciate in a saddle. So a couple of things that I've asked Peter to add onto my saddle, which I really require, some people might not, is these saddle strings. So when I'm out in the bush, I tend to just tie everything to my saddle, whether it be my extra rain jacket or pommel bags or anything. So I've asked him to put on these saddle strings so I can just tie everything on nice and securely. Another thing, because I do come from a Western background, is that I've requested to have a ladder go on here. You guys can also have the dual girth straps, like which is a more English style, it's totally up to you. It's personal preference, but I do really enjoy a ladder go. Another step you can take to further personalize your saddle is to add conchos in here and along here. If you would like to add them in, then just reach out to Peter, who'll be able to hook you up. It does add that extra element of bling to your saddle. So when it comes to actually sitting in the saddle, this is actually night and day to my last saddle because my last saddle that I've been riding in for the past couple of thousand kilometers did not actually have a padded seat. This is a dream come true. Something else that's new in this saddle coming from a Western saddle is the knee blocks. Now, traditionally, I was always worried about them getting in the way when I was doing a rising trot. Don't need to worry about that with these ones. The angle is actually really, really good because I have had some experiences before when the angle was not right and I felt like I was being like really held in there in an uncomfortable way. These ones are angled just right, which means I do have that room to move, but at the same time, they are gonna keep me in there if I do have some unexpected turbulence on the ride. Now another thing that you can ask for when you are getting this saddle made is you can have an extra inch on the candle here and for a nice deeper seat. So because I have done a lot of riding and I know that I am going to be moving backwards and forwards as I go up and down really, really steep hills, I've chosen to take the, just the slightly shorter candle, but it is the option there if you just do want to feel a little bit more support there. Another feature of this saddle that's going to come in really, really handy for my future rides is that it's actually got an adjustable gullet. Now, on all of the rides that I've done, the long distance rides, my horses have changed shape a huge amount through their backs from the start to the end of the ride. So what this means going forward is that I'm going to be able to carry an extra gullet with me and be able to adapt the saddle to their changing shape rather than just try and adapt to that through saddle pads. That's going to be an absolute lifesaver on my future trails. 
So if you do want to get your hands on one of these, they are available worldwide. Just look up Peter Horrobin Saddlery and we can set you up.